everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I did this eye look. So if you're interested in how I got this look, just keep on watching. Alright you guys, so we're going to start off with an eyeshadow primer. My favorite is the Urban Decay Original Formula one. Um, I like to blend this in with a fluffy blending brush. I uh, use the e.l.f. one. Once we have that all blended into our lids, going to go in and set that primer with a powder. I like to use um, a powder that's very familiar that's very similar to my skin tone. That way it really doesn't serve much purpose besides setting that primer and allowing for other shadows to blend really seamlessly on top of it. Today I used a Jouer single shadow in the shade Meringue. Now we're going to dip right into the Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to start off with this neutral, very light toned, almost peachy shade. I'm going to blend this into my crease. Um, we're going to go in kind of messily with this. It's okay not to be too precise. I just really want to have this color all over my crease, above and below um, the natural crease, just so it gives a nice transition for blending other shadows. I'm using a very fluffy brush and a very light hand with this shadow. I really want this look to be very airbrushed almost and um, smoky. I don't want it to be too intense. And then we're going to go in with this cooler tone shadow just to kind of help the green transition into that little bit of a warmer shade a little bit easier. I'm going to take this onto a smaller blending brush right into the crease. Um, keep it a little bit lower than the first shadow we put on. I don't want this shadow specifically for the color. I want it for the effect it'll give the crease. It kind of deepens it without adding a lot of product. And I really like that about this shade. Now we're going to dip into the Morphe Colorful Palette. I don't exactly remember the name of the palette off the top of my head. But we're just going to go into this forest green color and really just pack that onto the lid using an eyeshadow brush. The trick here is just to pack it and until you reach the intensity you want. Um, it's okay to pack and blend and then go back and add more if that's what you want to do. To blend this shadow, I just use the same um, smaller blending brush that I used for the taupey cooler tone shadow into the lid. You really want to buff this shade out so that it kind it blends seamlessly into that transition shadow. It's okay if you're using a pigment or a shadow that's not too pigmented, but you can always go back in and add more if you're not liking the intensity that you're getting with the shadow you're using. Now I'm going to go in with this warm dark brown shade. Um, I'm going to messily pack this onto the outer and inner corners of my lid. It's okay if this is messy. This is the way that I like to do it. It's okay to pack it on messy if you're blending or if your intentions are to blend it out. Just if you're using this technique, make sure to really spend the time to blend the shadow out. Um, the key to any smoky look or any makeup look in general is to truly blend. You never want harsh lines where they aren't intended to be. The only time you want a harsh line is when you are purposely putting it there for a reason. So when you're doing, you're trying to achieve any sort of smoky look, you really want to take your time to blend those shadows. Now when it comes to achieving a certain look, you can always go back and add certain shadows if the look is turning out different than the way you wanted it. Um, for instance, in this case, I wanted the transition shade to kind of peek through a little bit more and be a little warmer, so I went back and added a nice pale orange shade to the um, upper crease area. Now for the star of the show, we're going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Gilded Envy. Um, I'm just packing this onto the center of my lid 
until I get the intensity I want. I initially went in with my fingers, but that wasn't giving me the pigmentation I wanted, so I wet my brush with a little bit of setting powder and just continued to pack it until I reached the intensity that I was looking for. Um, I went back in and added even a, more of that orange shade um, to warm up that upper crease area. I really wanted it to be warm in there just to make the um, green really stand out even more. And also because I have hazel eyes, warm colors make my eyes pop a little bit more than cool tone colors. Next, I'm going in with a makeup wipe just to clean up under my eyes. Um, I like to do my eyes first when I am doing any sort of smoky look because it requires a lot of packing and for the most part that entails that you're going to get a lot of fallout under your eyes. So it's a lot easier to just do your eyes first and then clean everything up with a makeup wipe and then go back in and finish your face afterwards. Now that we have our face on, I went in and added some of the Cover FX drops onto my brow bone and my inner corner um, just to brighten things up a bit. Next, I'm going in with the MAC Eye Coal in Coastal Riche, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But this um, eye coal specifically, if you have any sort of green tint to your eyes, will really make that stand out and it makes your eyes pop and it looks really nice. So now I'm just going in and blending a, that same dark brown shade under our eyes. I added a little bit of a inner corner highlight um, from the MAC, from the Morphe, excuse me palette that we used as well um, just to really finish off the look. Now I'm going to add mascara. I did this off camera because I take forever applying mascara. And then we're going to go in with some Ardell Foaming Lashes in 811. And once we have those on, this look is complete. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys all have a great week and thank you so much for watching.